Welcome back to Wolfhunt and welcome aboard the Leopard A1 A1 once more and this is the first kind of video from the new patch 1.77 it went out I expected it actually um, a day later so the day that you're probably watching the video and the reason why I play the Leopard A1 A1 is for many amongst them is the Leopard A1 A1 received a new shell and a little bit uh, shifted around as uh, we have seen on the dev server the DM23 APF SDS with 385 millimeters of penetration and nearly 1500 millimeters uh, or meters per second muscle velocity and yeah you can see here on the minimap I also uh, want to come to this later on but I want to research the Leopard 2 car which comes afterwards you get the 30 percent uh, booster for research points so yeah i wanted to explore it a little bit how the tank plays how high tier is how top tier is um and what kind of insanity is awaiting us on the release day and it's pretty insane make no mistake here this is nuts and i had a pretty pretty bad day today for numerous reasons private reasons my internet went down up until like um, 10 o'clock at night where i could then slowly begin to play i uh, had like eight hours to download the new patch you know the four gigabytes took me somewhere between six and eight hours and uh, that was just pretty nuts nice shot here on the t64a and we'll see a bit later of this guy just in a moment and there you could see it's a bit disturbing with this gun because suddenly i think it's a very powerful gun with that right ammunition and that was an insane clutch shot tracking here the t64a and now i can charge him and this is very important because his gun breach is out and his track is out and he slided with the momentum behind this wall so we can engage him and he has given up and we one shot him through the upper frontal plate that is highly interesting now i have not really checked into all the statistics of the new top tier tanks simply because i don't have them because i'm in other bad news gaichin has not given me the top tier tanks so i have to kind of grind them for myself but it's kind of doable um at least i got a little bit of gold but not as as much gold as i need like just a third so i need to use it wisely and so i made a huge progress by unlocking certain modules amongst them the dm 23 to get the bonus rp from other tanks uh, by finishing module lines so yeah eastern europe beautiful map um the 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 spawn zones are far apart from each other the maps are is just so much it's it's new i'm not used to this um I can just simply say to you one thing, I have to relearn some of the maps, Wolukolamsk, uh, Eastern Europe and uh, some more maps and we will see how it goes. So as you can see for side shots, I actually should switch to the Heat FS maybe for Hullbreak or even the Hess shell to make sure that the thin side walls um, let through a lot of uh, damage and that snapshot was then a one shot kill yeah <laughs> and then we see another one and look at this shot i cannot really see him so i used a great muscle velocity and we one shot him in third person this t62 four kills like that i like it and yeah so i am supporting here the kpz 70 we have two of the capture zones my team went hard for a uh, one is somewhere behind c an alone adventure i don't know and let's see what this backhead does nah that was a bad shot yeah um but at least i got the two premium tanks the maga 3 and the mx 30. um the mx 30 i don't expect too much but i have to test out the buffed heat shell but without the 20 millimeter and no apds or any sort of solid shot uh, it's gonna be a problem you know the walls and so forth as a predict as I predicted previously we'll see if this comes true with now the reduced battle rating and the new meta and so forth and also the maga 3 but the maga 3 oof, watch this shot Whoa, that was satisfying 
No, that was really satisfying. Five kills, ace, like that. So, um, the Magar 3, very disappointing. I tried to make it work, but it's just so awful how weak the hull and the turret is. Um, I want to play my M60, please, despite the better reload. Yep. One thing that I really noticed with the Leopard A1A1, by the way, I noticed that B got decaptured, and so I want to investigate. The one problem with the Leopard is that it it caps out with the top speed. And so very often, uh, when I spawn together with some Russian medium tanks, like the T-62 or T-55, I just can't make a gap between them, you know, when they're on my team, so I have a direct comparison. Because... It, Somewhat it doesn't go over 50 kilometers an hour and even the journey to that is hard so um, Behind this wall or this um, Earth hill so to speak we can see the Abrams and that was strange. I hit the ammo it went black and I ignited it But it was not a kill shot. It was a kill assist We will see a bit more of this later on and the Abrams is an absolute monster um, but one of the game mechanics doesn't seem to work as advertised. So, we are pushing for C, and really, it's disturbing in the way that now I like this L7, now I feel confidence in driving this tank. At least I can shoot uh, tanks on the move and damage them with a so much higher percentage of success rate, so to speak, um, and that is just... It gives you confidence, and when you uh, have confidence, you go much more. You go in much more aggressively, and can get surprising results that then give you even more confidence, and that leads then to over aggression, and then you die, and then you think, "What a fool was I?" But this Abrams, oof, that was a clutch shot, and his gun and his gun breach is out, and I can I can reload? No, I can't reload in time. But now he has a hmm. Quite some hefty repair times um, to absorb or yeah to overdo and he just can't do it and I ignore his front um, and watch this watch this watch this I hit the front ammo rack ignited it and the back went it off the explosion what um, yeah, and it was a kill assist because reasons. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, it's it's really weird, okay? That's what I want to say. Mm, there are so many game mechanics. The meta has changed to a certain degree. We will have to see how the all the buffs um, affect the Germans. But what I can tell you is there is so much aggressive playstyle at one hand and so much camping going on on the other hand. Top tier is insane. And when I say insane, I don't mean it in the way that it's really enjoyable. It feels like work for me, okay? However, um, I've promised that videos go out, so I make them with the best effort that I can. And yeah, I bought the DM13. We'll see later on, um, we'll late, we will have later on a look into the tech tree and watch this. I actually hit the P-51 with one bullet. Don't ask me, I'm just working here. <laughs> okay, I take it. Um, and then we can see this chieftain here. And I fire a little bit over the ridge line and... Yeah, the gun barrel just lets the shell avoid. And I receive a nice shot into the side. And yeah, it's a T64. I try to reverse, change my angle. Can you hit me over the ridge line? I bump into the house like an absolute idiot. And the T64A takes me out with a beautiful shot. <sighs> yeah, for me, it's kind of frustrating. So there was no point to rejoin the match. And uh, so I waited up until it um, was the end. This was the best match of the day by far. 44,000 uh, silver lines and 6,700 research points with other booster, with other talisman, just with the premium account for five kills, one aircraft kill, and also two capture zones and three kills, uh, kill assists. So 
again, um, Gaichin has not addressed the ludicrously low income um, for higher tier vehicles. And I think this should be addressed. The graphics are wonderful. The sound mod bugged out, so we have to reinstall it. Uh, we have to wait for some fixes, how it goes. And uh, yeah, new videos coming up in the next few days. So thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Um, give this video a like if you did. Subscribe if you want to see more. And we'll see each other on the battlefields and in the skies of War Thunder.